tasting Fat Tire, yes. the original, right, and then Fat Tire Super Crew, which right. commemorates the 20 years of brewing Fat Tire for New Belgium Brewing Company out of Fort Collins, Colorado. Correct. Now Fat so, Tire is their flagship, yes. you know, and it is traditionally. I've always kind of considered it an amber ale, but I, right. but it is actually uh, brewed in Belgium, so it is an American Belgian style. And uh, the Grand Cru, which is probably the first real like Belgio right. fusion style right. American beer. Because I mean, we, we've been doing like, you know, Stone's got their, their right. new odd beers with all the Belgios. But this one's kind of one of those first, the first ones of it. And what we wanted to do with this video, we really want to take some time and take it against the Super yeah. Crew. Right. So we've got uh, the original is uh, 5.2. Yeah, 5.2 percent. So let's uh, get it's into the nice, color. Nice kind of orange. Super amber crew color. versus original. If we do them both, I mean, you can very similar. Yeah, they're similar, but the super crew is a bit darker. A little Ooh. bit, a little bit more amber in there. So let's go in for the aroma on the fat tire. Yeah, just a little bit. Beautiful uh, new Belgian glasses yeah. provided by a new Belgian brewery company, by the way. It's got and a nice. Nice uh, malt characteristic. It's got, it's got like a, a biscuity kind of yeah. oaty kind of aroma to it. Not a whole bunch of hops to speak of, but then again, in a Belgian style, you're not going to really be looking for hops, so that's appropriate. So cool. You want to now? Do you want to do yeah, the grand crew? Yeah, let's compare it against okay. the nose of the grand crew. Wow. Now, we should really say what the Grand Cru is here. The Grand Cru is basically double fat tire. It's a fat tire double. So double the malt, double the hops. But they also use a, a more um, robust Belgian yeast strain and some, a little bit of uh, uh, peach pear juice. Pear juice. Excuse me. Uh, pear juice in there just to kind of dry Yeah, so the pear bit. juice is, yeah, it's just going to balance with the right. malt. Right. The, so, the Super Crew is brewed with a Saison. Oh, okay. Well, it definitely... So that in itself is going to add fruitiness, right. and then to add a little bit of uh, pear juice to it is going to even up. Uh, yeah, because when fruitiness. you're going for the nose, really Belgian. And what's that? What The fruitiness, is what that's going to do is it's actually going to balance out the heat from the alcohol. Right. Because being 10%, if you didn't have that aromatic or the fruitiness, it's just going to taste you know, yeah. really hot, really alcohol. Right, totally. So, but with this one, getting into the nose, uh, it's got a, I mean, you can definitely tell it's a Belgian mm -hmm. right off the bat. It's got that kind of banana-y, banana-y, banana, -y, banana, -y? banana -y? What's the word for that? banana -y? banana -y. Sure. Uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> kind of clove, kind of, you know, aromas that you're used to getting with the Belgian yeast. Yeah, the yeast drink comes out. Yeah. Hardcore. A um, little bit of malt in there as well, but definitely yeah, malt sweetness. And then you do pick up a little bit of the alcohol. So being 10%, you really can't get away from it. Oh, alcohol. well, yeah, you get a little bit of alcohol. A little not bit. as much. I wouldn't guess from the nose that that was 10%. I really would. So let's uh, we're gonna gonna taste the taste fat, the fat tire. tire. Here we go. Cheers. That's a good, solid, easy drinking, sessionable ale. Yeah, the the malty. palate on this beer just backs up the nose. Yeah. The uh, the biscuity and malty flavors mm -hmm. just come through and hit you really hard. Yeah, real low, low level of hot. Yeah, and you do pick up that really weird like fusion yeast strain. Like, yeah, there is the essence of like a Belgian beer there, but uh, you wouldn't know it unless somebody's telling you that it's just. It's just really unique more than drinking like a really hoppy, typical American, right, American amber ale. Right, know? right. No, no, it definitely has some, some, uh, that, that Belgian yeast kind of sets it apart from, you know, just a standard amber ale. So, but really nice, really easy to drink, solid good beer there. Now let's go to the Grand Cru. This is the special Wunderkind. Yeah. 
really get much more complexity. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, they basically ratcheted it up, double the yeast, double the hops, and you are getting some of that, that air juice that's so, back there. So, Fat Tire is me, <laughs> and Super Crew is Bill. <laughs> <laughs> nicely put. Yeah. Nicely put. <laughs> Very nice. So yeah, you know, it's just double, double everything. So, but that 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 saison yeast really is the star of the show. I mean, that comes on, and there's no doubt that you're drinking. Yeah, from it all start time. to finish, it just hits you on all cylinders. And right. It just starts at one level. Gives you a little sweetness, a little of the alcohol comes through, and then the malt comes through, then the fruit comes through. Yeah, you're getting lots. You're getting yeah. lots all of these flavors in there. That come through as you're it getting, goes through your palate. In addition to the right here. to the pear, you're getting some kind of uh, you know. And the pear is really fruit. subtle. Yeah. It's kind of hard to say, like when you're when you're watching a video and somebody says that there's pear juice in a beer, you go, oh man, it's really fruity, but it's not. It's really subtle. It's no. not something that you know hits you over the head with pear juice pear, no. but it's just enough to balance out the, the your, amount of malt and then the strain of yeast that what you're trying too. to say is it's not that apparent yes what <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> this guy <laughs> <laughs> But no, uh, the Grand Cru, well, I mean, both beers are, are really good and in, 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 their, in their areas, but the Grand Cru just... Good idea, by the way, yeah. you know, for an anniversary thing to, you know... Yeah, just take your regular beer. Pay homage your, to the beer that, you know, made them what they are and make a, just ramp it up. a double yeah. version of it. Yeah, well, especially cheers, with man. Belgians, so cool. it's yeah. traditional. Cheers. cheers. Get out there and drink craft beer. Beer TV. This is Kenny and Bill. Fat tire tasting. Take one. That didn't work. Okay. What are you doing? Fine. I don't know. Oh, you're taking away. They just work. need that for a <laughs> Oh, that's fine. I just think it's a cool reason. Fat tire tasting. Tasting. Take one. <laughs> that's so bitchy. Because <laughs> we, we, yeah, we gotta get one of those, huh? Dude, that's so cool.